Peggy 18. Hi, I'm Gabrielle Schrager, Senior Story Director at Ubisoft Montpellier Studios, and I'm the lead writer on Zombie U. So let's talk story. I've lived in London, and the team spent a lot of time walking around the city to take in its unique flavours and atmosphere. And what we've created from that is a kind of sublime vision of the city, a creepy, apocalyptic, hyper-real version of London where hell is just around the corner. We have a variety of locations in Zombie U that reflect the contrast of modern London, from the splendour of Buckingham Palace to the squalor of a ruined council estate. And where else can you meet a zombie bobby, thief eater, or even a royal guard? It is 2012, and the Black Prophecy is about to be realised. John Dee foresaw the coming of the apocalypse 400 years ago, and now you're right in the middle of it. Run if you want to live! In Zombie U, we have three main characters, each of whom has a different approach to survival and interpretation of John Dee's Black Prophecy. The Prepper is your mysterious guide and mentor, a survivalist who saw the apocalypse coming and prepared. He's ex-army and no-nonsense, and he will do what he can to teach you to survive and live to see the Black Prophecy realized. Hey lad, over here, come down into the station. Sandra is one of the leaders of the secret society known as the Ravens of Dee. They have spent centuries studying John Dee and the Black Prophecy, and their aim is to help as many survivors as they can escape from London. Sorry, that's all I can help with. I need to clear the other ramparts. Dr. Knight is one of the Queen's doctors. He has survived deep beneath Buckingham Palace in the Royal Bunkers, where he's obsessively searching for the fabled panacea, a universal cure that John Dee died looking for. Welcome. Do make yourself at home. But please, don't touch anything. This is all vital scientific work. Dee was a fascinating man, one of the most compelling and mysterious people in British history. And so we created a rich, detailed mythology around his life and work for players to discover. What we soon realised was that the overall story of this game doesn't belong to the survivors you play. It belongs to you, the player. You're the one following the narrative from start to finish. We also encounter some other survivors up Brick Lane and see how they manage to stay alive. These characters help keep us in the flow of the game. Each one of our survivors benefits from the progress of the last and pursues the end game, like a deadly relay race, in the hopes that maybe one of our survivors will make it out alive. To see.